Hi, assalamu alaikum, Mr. B here. Uh, thank you for watching my video. Um, Alright, first and foremost, I would like to thank uh, those of you who had watched my earlier video. I think I posted about uh, two weeks ago uh, where I reflected and shared about how we are actually affected by the environment that we live in. Um, so in that video, I shared that, um, well, um, different people, or well, I began with different plants. Uh, they require different environment to grow. Um, so if the, if the environment is not ideal, then one option is to actually move out uh, from the environment. Okay, uh, nevertheless, uh, with that in mind, uh, I mean, having said that, uh, as human beings or living things, right, uh, we have this special ability, uh, not us, but uh, living things in general, to adapt. Okay, meaning uh, sometimes we can move out from the, from, the, from the environment, sometimes we are just stuck there, and if that's the case, then you have to do your best to adapt to the environment. Okay. Um, if it works, then inshallah you can, you know, uh, prosper and grow. Well, um, that was in that video. Link to that video, um, I'm still going to share again about how we are actually affected by the environment that we give in. Yes, you hear a loud thud. There was a chunko that just fell in the garden. Okay, now, um, well, link to, that, link to that topic. Uh, in this video, I'm going to just share with you, uh, you know, a bit of a subset of that point. Um, well, in front of me here, you have a planter. Um, there are two kinds of plants over here. Uh, well, we got the balsam, and these are two balsams here. One, two, and we got some um, hibiscus. Okay, the common thing about these uh, plants is that they are in this planter. Uh, they actually uh, were placed here uh, from from us uh, doing uh, stem cutting. Okay. So if you need to gardening, uh, stem cutting is one way which you can actually uh, do to actually propagate uh, your plants. Okay, um, yeah. So if you got one plant, you want to make some more of them. So instead of getting seeds, you can actually cut the some parts of the branches or the stems and then uh, put it in the ground or some other mediums. And when the roots grow, then the plant will. Uh, new plants, you will get more, you will get new plants. Okay, uh, yeah, so that's a bit about stem cutting. Now, um, I'm just going to dive in about here. Um, you see that, uh, okay, these are the just this one was the balsam. Uh, these are the hibiscus, all right, one, two, three, four, five. So you can see the one over here looks good, it's uh, has got small green leaves. Same for this one. This is a uh, look quite ground okay I'm not sure but I think I saw something very very small coming out uh, we're just gonna let it stay for a while more okay and the one at the back looks uh, doesn't look good the one on the left here looks uh, pretty good all right uh, more leaves and it's going well okay so um, again about the environment there is something that we can learn from doing stem cutting um, well what I did for this stem cutting is purely trim the stems and then remove some leaves so that the, the, the plant or the cutting does not lose uh, too much moisture and then we just insert it inside the soil okay as you can see earlier some are doing well some are not okay yeah so um, the, the point here is that uh, there's something that we can learn again about uh, self-development here. Um, well, if you think about the, my previous video where I shared about the environment, yes, you can see it, uh, right in front of our eyes here is that um, these cuttings are not able to actually uh, move itself or walk away. It can't. It just has to adapt to this condition, um, adapt to the resources that's available, and then uh, try its best to grow uh, its roots. So we can see that some are doing well. Okay. Well, there's definitely something that we can learn from this uh, stem cutting. Um, the plants, um, the cuttings are being placed inside this uh, soil. Well, um, we are never too sure whether that is the best medium for it to grow roots. 
Um, that being said, as a plant, it can actually get up and walk and find a better place to grow. It can. It has to just stay here and try to adapt the condi to the condition and try to grow its roots and hopefully grow. Okay. So that being said, um, well, learning from the plants, there is sometimes we do not have the choice but to really stay uh, in where you are, uh, wherever you are, and we just have to be resilient enough to adapt to the condition around you. Sometimes you can even be staying put at your normal place, but because of external factors, the whole the whole environment changes and then you still have to adapt okay so when, I, when we talk about adapting it's not only adapting to a new place but sometimes it could be an old place but the whole climate has changed and we have to just adapt to it right um yeah so i don't know it's it's, it's a beautiful uh, lesson that we can learn from the plants unfortunately you can see that some of them may not grow right and probably, you know, unfortunately that may be the same for us uh, where some people just can't adapt to the condition, okay? But ultimately, the just at the plants, for us, um, you know, for you guys out there, wherever you are, uh, I'm sure you'll be facing the challenges uh, in your life at a certain point of time, um, yeah, and, you know, you just have to stick up, stick on to the fight, and adapt and and you you make it up there inshallah okay so yeah things may look difficult at this point of time but uh inshallah you know if you trust the process uh go through with it uh make the best of what you have then again inshallah you will be able to solve uh you know whatever challenges that you have out there so once again this time round, uh, we have actually, you know, learned something uh, from gardening, just merely from doing stem cutting, and apply, you know, take back some lessons and apply that back to our daily life. Okay, so right, I hope that was useful for you. Uh, inshallah, uh, I will be sharing more uh, life lessons that you can get from gardening. Uh, you know. Right now, in this pandemic, uh, you know, people are staying more at home. Alhamdulillah, we can, we can see more people uh, getting their hands dirty, you know, trying to, um, you know, grow plants at home, whether it be for aesthetic reasons or for, you know, trying to solve this uh, food security issue. Uh, you have all the reasons. Uh, those are all good reasons to, you know, uh, for you to start gardening, okay? But uh, personally for me, uh, apart from just, you know, getting your hands dirty, at the end of the day, at the end of the day uh, I'm sure there will be something that we can take back and apply back to our, to our daily life. Um, yeah. Once again, hopefully in this video that uh, you gain something out of this. Alright, and inshallah, I will share more with you, uh, more life skills that you get from gardening. Inshallah. Okay, Assalamualaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh.